you know, topical shit can't, can't, uh, fix the issue. It's just not going to get fixed. <laughs> I'm not gonna get fixed, and I'm okay with that. I am. Oh, I am at a point where I don't give a fuck. Mm -mm. This is me. Get used to it. <laughs> seven years y'all look at him look at him looking as fly as he can be hey baby Hi, what you doing good looking <laughs> hey <laughs> you know, I'm around, we finally got here My daddy, y'all. Hey. 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 Finally. He's been at the airport for like 48 hours. I know. That's right. That's good. Too but we're about to get home because it's cold. So. Okay. Peace, Peace out. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Everything I have ever heard before. And he was hungry. Both of us were. We just sat there. We get a seat. And a one. And a two. And a three. Happy birthday to you. Ja, ja, ja. Happy birthday. Day to you. Happy birthday, dear Boogie. Happy birthday to you. And many more. I wonder why y'all have to sing happy birthday so, so slow and so. How came the KB? Happy birthday to you. How come you weren't doing it? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Yeah. That way. Happy, happy birthday to you. I still appreciate it. Okay, I'm giving the TV for you. I love you, Boogie. Now you have to. Give me a kissy, Boogie. I'm coming, I'm coming, baby. No, I don't need it no more. I'm all done. No, I'm giving you what I'm saying. Oh, I thought you meant snap. <laughs> You looking okay? I got to look at yours. <laughs> look, my face gonna crack if you going. How come I ain't going back to all the different pictures? Wait a minute. Okay, I gotta do that first. This is my daddy, y'all. Been here for over two weeks and we ain't done a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> but stay in our pajamas. It's been storming. Storming. Mm -hmm. And look what it's done to my hair. Mm -hmm. It's Same. terrible. Same. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at look at this. this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my, my Zulu look. My Zulu tribe mm -hmm. look. He looks mm -hmm. like that every morning. Yeah. <laughs> and, and 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 this is my Flintstone. This is my Bam Bam look. <laughs> oh, oh, what's his name? What's Bam, his name? Bam Bam. 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 Many hours later. Move it, move it. Who's taking you so long? Who? You did the deal. You laid this. I'm trying to figure out if, if who laid. I did that. No, she laid with Big Six. Oh yeah, she did. Yeah. Whoever got Big Six starts. And I, I know. I said you laid. That's what I'm, I said. You laid. Okay. I'm trying to see how to get past you. I just threw away big ass money Didn't to get, but I can't get past you already. Right. But I threw a lot there of money away. I threw she away big money. Let me see. Home. I could have took the lead. But you didn't. I sure didn't, but I'm so good. I can do that. Okay. Because well, I know how to do it. 
See, I can, all money ain't good money. Okay, well, money is good. Now, okay. Yeah, just, just, just sit around. Right. What you gonna do, Punchinella, Punchinella? Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, I got her not even knowing she's even playing the game. Yeah. I got her now. Uh, I gotta get so by you. I know she still daughter. can play. She ain't going yet. She can she's play. Thinking. Look at that, yep. Ooh, did she do that? Did she do that? Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. Oh wee! <laughs> Look at there! Look at there! Uh oh! 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 So if you don't have one, you got one of them. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh shit! Yeah. I want you to have none of that. It's definitely coming for what y'all got left. Oh lord! Oh, don't and Let me do tell you it. how long it's been since I played dominoes. Mm -hmm. I'm over here whooping ass. She mad. You ain't done nothing. Hey, listen, anybody out there watching? <laughs> he's, he's bad. I want you all to know that. My daddy mad. I am the master of this game, and you will see. And he going to say he's the master. And very shortly, you will see. You will say, <laughs> that is the best player I've ever seen in my entire life. Mm. He is the master of this game. Mm. No guarantee. Watch out, watch and see. And they're going to be my students today. <laughs> These are going to teach this stuff today. Ain't that right? <laughs> see, did you hear or not? There's no one at the door. For sure. Except right. Now, damn, this one here is just a killer of the willer. <laughs> oh, you're going to be able to play. Yeah, well, it all depends you, on what you got. <laughs> should I let you make all that money though? Mm. Sock blue. Uh -oh. Well. Uh -oh. Damn. This is the professor. Okay, I this put her 15. The professor is getting caught tonight. Let's go. But, okay, what do you got? What does Tia have? I got Tia has some. I only have 20. No, 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 wait a minute. I'm just this on the board. Yeah. Oh. No. I no. 15. How much money does Ray Shamar get from all of us? She get a nickel out of my hand. Yeah. She get this out yeah. of here. Where's Tia's going? Or was one of these Tia's? You got to pour some more cement. I and had to put some roofing on that. Double double pour and double okay, both of those. Okay. So then you got 10. You got. I've given her 15, 25. 21. 27 for 25. Good Lord. I gave her 25. I'm going to go and that. You think you're gonna wait? I scored. I dominoed and I scored twenty, and then I gave. I need an additional twenty. You made a one, and then yeah, you got it. Okay. Yeah. Go, baby. I better get on it. I'm going after my baby girl. What are you doing? You playing four over there or something? It's my stick. What are y'all pushing them up for? She domino, and I'm the back man. Yeah, that's my stick. I'm gonna get. Y'all, y'all gonna jinx the whole you the table. For it. You can, you can, you can. Trying to shake on my stick, cause I'm gonna put the tragic magic on it right now. <laughs> that's what's going on in this stick. That's the tragic magic. That's the tragic magic. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. She greedy. <laughs> she just greedy. <laughs> I'm getting ready. But if you got the right bones, you're gonna get. Oh, oh, you, 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 you did nothing. We are gonna see in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna put it. It's gonna be good. Watch and see. I'll wait. <laughs> no, she did. Do yes, that. she did. She. <sighs> you just looking in my hand like ain't nobody <laughs> business. Uh, look at it, making sure that we are on she, camera. You she, can't lie. I she didn't was, even look your way. She was no. doing a turkey neck like you don't look at that. She might have said it. I, 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 I saw the turkey neck come over. Great excuse. Lord, let me turn this way. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 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 Let's see. Let's see. Don't be looking this way. What you mean? Don't be looking this you way. You got a whole mountain standing up over there. You might, we don't know, you might be making dominoes over there. Because mm, that's possible. And manufacturing them. Let me get 20. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's go. Uh -oh. Oh, no.
15, 20. Oh boy, she's working. <laughs> Golly. She's giving it up along the way. Go, mommy. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm getting ready to put up so <laughs> defense on this shit. Some kind of something. Oh, Why are you tapping like you slap my hand? <clears throat> mm. And I know Tia getting ready to chest. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tia gonna mess it all up for me. She's getting ready to. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on, baby. It's gonna be funny as fuck, too. Oh, my um. God. <laughs> um. Okay, so. Five ones, blank fours. Yeah, you, you got the down though. So. Dang. It's alright, I'm coming after you, Ash. You're only 15 ahead. Yeah, your mama is not that far behind. Oh, I can't see hers. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. We can't have no. this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you may teach y'all a Bible lesson. Oh, oh, my God. Bible lesson. Yeah. Cry me a rhythm. Yeah. Don't watch that. Tim, please. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Are you getting points all the time? <laughs> Ooh, my mom. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't say no slick shit. <laughs> he wanna say Tia, I'm so thirsty? slick right now. <laughs> Tia, are you thirsty? Yes, <laughs> She started writing. She put about 10 on it. 
Yeah. No, you put. She didn't put nothing down. Yeah, she put. I had a, I had a house and an ex. I know, but you hadn't. She had just passed you on her last one. You remember? No, and I didn't you pass her. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Okay, really? Yeah, Ray's fine with you. Okay, she found where she's at then. They working together. They I did it. They got the <laughs> no, I didn't of the see school this. board and everything. I did. <laughs> Let me get twenty before something crazy happens. Wait. Oh, my! I'm, mine's gonna be right. Y'all okay. the one that's trying to school. Okay. We start writing. What, what you waiting you on? Twenty? Didn't you hear me? She's a high. She ignored you. Okay. Loud and clear, didn't you? I told you. But when they uh, say something, it's oh yes. Let's two. chart this here down. Six three. Two six three, right? Oh, you didn't want your money, huh? Hey. Yeah, right there, that was a die. No. I'm, I've been looking at my fucking phone. You need to get in the game. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you keep on doing it because I didn't want to come in last place. <laughs> you don't uh, let you leave me anywhere. No. This is still the same game. You, uh, I'm ahead of you because of making mistakes like that. Yeah. Whose turn is it? It's, God's it's, sake, it's, it's your uh, turn. Oh, oh, it's, no, it's on, it's on. No, it's on you. Ratio no, no, but it's on you. I knocked, I said it's on oh, you. Oh, you didn't want no one to hear you knock. No, no, I knocked him real he good. He knocked, Ray, he knocked. I did, I he knocked. He shit when you knocked. Uh, I knocked, damn. Well, you know, since you knocked. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to get on the side. Give me 10. You tie now, mama? Give me that. Give me 20. You got the damn book in front of you. Oh, this is so. Oh my god. And is it 20? Yeah. Inside. 12 and 8, 20. But the rain will hide my crying. That you, we had to wait all that time for you to lead up to something you already knew you had. I mean, no, I, really? I, I, I could have did something. All else that drama. Different. You need tension that bad. <clears throat> I don't know why you, uh, you uh, did this. Oh. You, 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 Come you, on, Ray, your turn. You kept score. Your turn. I'm going to show you how to do it where you can. Don't cheat. That's all we ask. Ray, keep really an eye on it. A lot better. Yeah. A lot better. Keep an eye on it. Let me see if you let Tia out. You let Tia out right now. Something. It's not, not on your turn, here. bro. <laughs> Get your head out of that phone, <laughs> damn it. I was just setting shit down. Five, three, <laughs> what? Oh, shit. What? She can get out. That's what. <laughs> 23. Mm -hmm. 32. Go ahead. 36 for 35. 10. 20. 30. Just catch up dominoes. Five. You still in last place. You did good. You did good. <laughs> you cleaned up, but. You did good, but you still in Wash that dishes, baby. It's wash on you to wash the dishes. No. She domino. Right. Wash them dishes, baby. Wait, why aren't you the wash one? Wash them dishes. Nope. There I she tried is. to get it. She plays before. Okay. Uh -huh. so bad, he loses. Uh huh. Gloria over here kicking everybody's ass. She's. She's not going She's no further. So She's 40 points. She's through. She's through when right now. When did she get the cross? When did she surpass me? She surpassed you a while back when, when she, she got this she did. I hit her in time. For last place. <laughs> 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 Catch up to Lori, she's gonna stab you in the back. <laughs> I'm not married to her, I'm her mama. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't put it out there for nobody. Oh, yeah, you, yes, you did. Oh, yeah. Of course, you did. You knew you did when you put it down. Well, I gotta play. Yeah, he did. 20, please. Well, what took you so long? Is it because I, the, my big sis was six was rolled over upside down. <laughs> I'll take that same 20. Damn. Damn. Six. 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 Six.
You need 15 to get out. What y'all dapping over? She gave it up. Greed. That's the game. Mama won. Do I see what? I see that? I am the runner-up, not you. No, uh Yes. I have five points over you. Ain't that some shit? Mm -hmm. Well, you just got that last minute. It don't count. Well, it's... Love you, Daddy. I love you too, Rachel. <laughs> they don't know my government name. It's Ray. Well, you're going to have to edit this out, then. <laughs> I love you too, Ray. Put I that in there. I love you too, Ray. Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. The next day. Zoom in. Oh. Look how pretty, you guys. It's an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is so creative. I love it. Thank you. They're like it's so ornament weird. cards. They're so like intricate. I know. You know? <laughs> oh. I really forgot. I forgot about the foolery. <laughs> she screams. Here's a good one. Dang it. <laughs> At least somebody did, right? <laughs> well, Tia, you and your It hit me in the face. Damn it. <laughs> I'm going to keep this. Look what daddy got. Back to back. Look what they daddy got him. Uh, Look what Ray. daddy did. Have them back to back. Put their backs together and then do this. They got onesies. Sisters. Can you see all of the, like, all the way down? Can you see that it's a one oh, thing? Have your back, uh, have your backs to each other and then put your... We're sisters. Sister. We're happy. Sister. Oh, uh. sister. Yes. I got my own mind. Uh. I'm done. I'm up. I don't know the words. <laughs> you knew way too much. Sister, sister. Okay, Never knew so, how much damage wait, wait. you. Oh, okay. So one. Two. Three. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Hey, add it, add it. Look at that, look at Tia. <laughs> look at my bear. Bitches, at least you got enough for 30 
Welcome back to another vlog. I am at my bestie's brand new house. I'm gonna show you guys in and out. Yeah. Okay, let me finish. <laughs> anyway, so um, we are here and I'm gonna show you what house they picked because I think we toured three models the last time uh, when I recorded us going through the different models. Um, so they decided on this one which house you think they picked house number one house number two or house number three it is windy oh, oh. anyway so yeah let me show you this is the house they chose and i'm so happy for them oh my god okay oh hey <laughs> look at the floors oh my god they look so good oh my god just to see them Oh wow, look at the paint samples. Look with the paint samples. Are we making a choice? Yeah. So we have to choose. We chose Okay. We're definitely choosing this. Look at it. 
Oh, look at the guest room. No, we're starving. Oh my God. Look at our quarters, babe. <laughs> Did you see our quarters? Our quarters? Quarters. Oh, you're funny. She's hilarious. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, so it's flipped because the stairs is over here in the model. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> oh uh, my God. Okay, so I brought. Look how nice, babe. They chose all of this when I told you we were at that place. Oh my God. It looks so good. The three little windows. Yeah, you're doing that. Look at all this space for the dining table. Oh, you can smoke in the house now. That's the best part. We gonna be chiefing. Uh, it's gonna be no tobacco. Gonna so our couch is gonna go like this. That's why we have these things on the ground because we're thinking that's where our couch is gonna go. Okay. And then we're gonna have two chairs coming out from here, like leather chairs, because that's gonna be a cloth, cloth couch, mm -hmm. and like a little plant there. Okay. A floating shelf with doors where we can stuff in our 75 inch TV. Yay. And then two sconces on each side. And then behind the couch, right here, is going to be a cover, and it's gonna have my, um, the Record album book. player, mm -hmm. and then all of my albums. Oh, against the back of the couch? Mm -hmm. Nice. Couch. Nothing, uh, nothing no. else here. And then our um, trash cans are gonna be in here. They're going, we're gonna change, we're gonna them, to, change them to the, the, the drawers. Mm -hmm. The drawers that come out. Mm -hmm. Ceiling fan. Mm -hmm. Ceiling fan. Where are you laying a saw down? So you have this whole thing. Isn't it a big backyard? Yeah. Look, it's so nice and white and clean. It's just so brand spanking new. They're going to have the painters come in. Look, this is going to be their little um, work area. So they're going to have this whole thing like done up with modular uh, shelves and desks and their computers and whatnot. So this is where they come in the morning to work. Oh, it's going to look so cute. So cute. And this is, I think, the master bedroom. I think the master bedroom. Look. Oh, so nice. So nice. Oh, the towel we chose. So nice. Nothing like a brand new tub, let me tell ya. Ooh. So nice. Oh, I love, look at the closet. Yes. Yes. Window is a must have. Look at the bathroom. Second bathroom. Well, third actually. It's a four bedroom, three bath. And whites. This is Miss Rita by Nina's bathroom. Yeah. My bestie bought a house. My bestie bought a house. Hey, hey, my bestie bought a house. Mm, mm, mm. So proud of that bitch. I'm gonna be in this bitch all the time when I'm over here. That drive was ridiculous. I hate you for moving. Just saying. Laundry room. Bedroom. Bedroom. So these are both Rita's because Miss Ruthie got the master. So uh, Rita's getting both of the two bedrooms next to each other. So I think she's going to turn one into her bedroom and one into her lounge. Which one that will be? I don't know. I think the right one's going to be her bedroom because 
I don't know. It's facing the scenery looks pretty. I don't know. So it's the lighter, so board. it's the actual, yeah, it's like that board there mm -hmm. and that one there. What, um, is your regimen on the right or the left? Who even put that up there? Huh? Which one is CC? Right. I did. I picked Crystal. And S, S and A1 had no business either. I hate you all. Wait, wait, wait. We were just thinking of which one, the one that's behind Ricky's closet. That's the one with one window, not two, one. The left? The one right the behind one. the roof? Yeah, the one on the left. Okay. Yeah, C3 is a good show. C3, but Rita, CC is Rita's like, oh, I really like this color. I really like this color. Which one? CC. A1 is way too yellow. I agree. And but I see P is, is just the same. P is way too yellow. S is yeah. <laughs> so proud of you. Yeah, it's off white. Look at the backyard. It's so big. Nice. A lot of space. I think I'm gonna put a ceiling fan outside. They got ceiling fans outside, but not in the house. They put some of the blades in upside down. video <laughs> I gotta remember this it's a birthday girl she's like 10 years smile. old look at that baby look at my family sweet boy <laughs> The children. Ha <laughs> ha 
By the pool at my brother's house. Looking at me, looking at you. Looking at me, looking at you. Girl. The sun is like giving right now. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Helicopter. Look. Where are you going? <laughs> She want me to jump in this cold water. Her. She want me to jump in here. You see? She want me to do that. It's cold. Auntie need a tan. Yeah. Auntie need a tan. With this bathing suit that don't fit. <laughs> Look at my pretty little butterfly. Mama! She made it. Where my nose come at? <laughs> Mama, where's you clean it? You're deep in. Or if you find you the black it? and blue one, give me that one. Cause I don't know. No, you Check in with y'all later. Is it under there? Uh -huh. Take that out.
I'm leaving. I'm gonna need you to turn. Okay. I'm in a parking garage. I'm leaving Quest Diagnostics. I came here for no reason. Um, well, I, I have a reason. I need my blood, my blood drawn for the umpteenth time because I'm having surgery tomorrow. I haven't talked about this, but I feel like now is just the perfect time. Um, because my surgery is tomorrow, so I figured I'd have a little story time for y'all. Um, but the day before surgery, they want you to get your labs, another round of labs, so they can, you know, know your blood type and, you know, just in case you need a blood transfusion and blah, blah, blah. They want to check my iron levels and all that stuff, so, um, that's why I'm here, but I get there, the waiting room is packed, and um, they have me in as a stat, and I said, you know, what's the wait time? Because I got there at 11 a.m. My yoga class is at noon. The first time I went there, um, it was super fast. So I was like, well, I had to weigh my foot. What is she doing? I had to weigh my options, and I'm having surgery tomorrow, and I'm not gonna be able to do shit um, for weeks to come afterwards. So yoga is very important to me. It's I need it to ready my body, ready my mind, and it's not an exception. So, um, I'm gonna have to come back later, and that just is what it is because I'm not missing this class. Period. So, um, I'm on my way to, I'm gonna have to stop by the house really quick because it's 11 22, and I gotta smash and get over to that side, which is Roseville, and I have to stop. Um, I have to stop at the house because I left my water there, so I need to grab my water and then bounce out. Um, I'm not going to have time for story time before then, but when I get out and on my way back here to labs, uh, and they close at 4.30, which is fine. I mean, I'll be wet. <laughs> I'll be soaking wet because it's hot yoga, so I'll be soaking wet and freezing, but I have that on you. I brought a hoodie and these robes, though. I brought a hoodie and, you know, my towels. I have my towel situation going on, so um, I should keep warming up the sweat and dry. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is priority for me. Anyway, so yeah, um, this is like my first time. This thing I'll never want to sit straight. So this is my, I haven't recorded like in a while because as you know, last year, it's 2023. Happy New Year. Yay. <laughs> it's January 17th, uh, Tuesday. And this is my first time recording, I think. But, oh yeah, welcome back. <laughs> Don't forget that. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is King Kenzie. Um, I go by Ray, but you know what I mean. That's my channel, King Kenzie. And um, I call my followers, my subscribers, Kingpins. So if you want to be a Kingpin, really, really, if you want to be a Kingpin, um, all you gotta do is click subscribe, it's free. You know, turn on your post notifications and check me out. So, stay straight. Anyway, so that was a bust and a waste of time. I'll just have to come back after yoga, like I said. Um, and then we can have a little story time um, afterwards. On my way back, I'll just do it while I'm driving and, you know, let you know let you guys know what's going on what's been going on for years and years and years like I'm looking at you but I'm looking at me <laughs> so I'm really nervous about it and upset about it I'm upset about it because had had the level of attention and care 
and just information really been put to me in a way or just given to me at all <laughs> um, in terms of options of what I may have could have done prior years prior to stop the suffering and stop um, to manage it you know not only the condition but the pain and to manage it um, so that we wouldn't end up here and um, that wasn't something that was ever communicated until uh, until it was too late so you know but that's health care you know and I <laughs> I live in America <laughs> unfortunately I mean fortunately for some reasons but in terms of health care our health care is trash you know it's for profit and um, it's there's not a lot of health care going on. It's, you know, disease management. You know, they got to keep the money rolling in. So, and it's nothing new, you know, to races, you know, of colored people. You know, there's a lot of professionals don't give a fuck about us. And that's just the cold heart, you know, cold hearted truth. Um, so, I mean, it happens to everybody, but it happens a lot. You know, it happens a lot to people of color. And um, if you don't, if my background is in healthcare, you know, in insurance. So I'm very, very familiar and educated with how it works and, you know, um, how to advocate for yourself as a patient and uh, what they can and cannot do and, and whatnot. But I learned that over the years in my career prior to coming to water, because you know I left that life. That shit back, that's back there. I left that, that life behind me, okay? I, I had to, I had to dip out. Um, but it's still very much on the forefront, you know? I, I left my career in 2021, and, um, but I, you know, did it for 18 years, so. It's still there, and I've had to already you know, advocate for myself in several ways. Um, I just wish, you know, I had a grip or more of an understanding of things. I'm like talking all around. Like I haven't even told you what it is yet. And I know cause there's, I, I want to go in further depth, but I'm approaching my house. So I'm not going to have time, but I promise I will do that after that because I do want to share this with you guys. It's, it's kind of difficult for me because, I mean, just doing this at all has been difficult for me because, you know, you know I'm super private and so I'm trying to change my ways to be more, more vulnerable and open because, you know, I'm a blogger now. So being personal and opening up and letting you guys share my life, see my life is a part of the package, you know, I can still manage things, you know, in terms of what. I do and do not want to share, but this is, you know, this is just is, it is what it is. Um, I've had a handful of surgeries. I've had, I had my, my first surgery, I had a tonsillectomy. I had my tonsils and my adenoids taken out because I used to be sick all the time as a kid. This was back in middle school. Um, and I had two, count them, two motherfucking rhinoplasties. Um, that's a story for another time. I'll tell you all about that. That should have cracked you up. Like there's a, <laughs> there's a reason why all that happened. But no, my first rhinoplasty was, um, by choice. My second one was a revision because it was botched, which you could probably, you can see, like, if you like, if you squint, you can see my scars. You can see, especially in this nostril. I'll talk about it all. That'll be another story time. But Aside of that, you know, um, I haven't had it, you know, any other surgeries, and so I'm kind of nervous. And um, this is this is a big one. This is a big one. So um, yeah, we'll talk about it in a minute. Um, anyway, I am back at the house, so um, I will check back in with you guys probably just before I go into yoga, and then 
um, when I get out on the way back to get the fucking lab work. So we'll have a little story time and I will tell you what I am about to endure and why and the process it took me to get to this point. It's very unfortunate. And I'm still angry about it, if you can't tell. I'm still, I'm just, oh, I'm just, I don't want to go through this right now. Who wants to do this? Like, you know, nobody wants to do this. And I can't even say, I can't believe this is happening. I can believe it. I can believe it. Fuck. But you know, it is what it is. So anyway, yeah, I'll check back in with you guys. I love you. Um, have a great day. All that. See you in a minute. Oh shit. All right, I'm back. I just ran, ran up the stairs to get my shit. I got my water, the Evian. By the way, um, anyway, so yeah, let's dip. I'm gonna get to yoga. And, uh, you know, I'm a smoke. <laughs> Ain't nothing like working out yoga. It don't matter what it is. You take a little puffy puff right before. Ooh, I will just go into another realm while I'm in my downward dog. And it feels really nice. So anyway, um... TMI, but I got a shit, like, God, oh, it always hits me at the wrong time, I'm gonna have to go in early so I can hit the potty, because ain't nobody doing child's pose and downward dog, and I gotta take a shit, like, fuck, why, oh, anyway, yeah, so, on our way to yoga, and then back to labs. Or I'm gonna get my latte because I know if I'm gonna have to sit there and wait, I'm gonna be comfortable and cozy with some warm coffee. That makes sense. That good, good. This motherfucker out here every day, morning, noon, and night. Watch it, Ooh, I can't wait to move, y'all. I cannot wait to move. Like, I'm tired of living in the white ghetto. Shit. I need more space. I need a better aesthetic. Like, I, I, I think I've told you guys this before, but I, I have lived at um, our current residence. My wife and I. We've been there for like going on 11 years. So we've been there for like hella long. And I just, you know, we can make home anywhere. We can make anywhere comfortable. That's just how we are as long as, you know, it's clean and, you know, but I, but I'm ready for something a little bit more pristine. Like we've never been in a predicament where we're like, oh, we're going to buy. We never were ready. We were never, it was never like, we don't have kids. So it's like, we didn't need all this space. It was, it's always just us, but my mom moved in with us back in 2019 and you know now a thousand square feet two bedroom two baths just ain't gonna cut it no more we need a little bit more room and I want better aesthetics you know the materials the the hardwood floors the um quartz countertops like I just I need I need the aesthetic and while my place is nice you know I decorated it you know nice painted some walls yada yada but you know, it's just, it's an older apartment complex and I'm just ready for something a little bit more polished. Um, so yeah, that will be next. That's what I'm excited about. Fuck this goddamn surgery. It's going to set me back. It's going to set me back and a bitch is going to have to juice in attempts not to gain no motherfucking weight. But, <laughs> so there's that. But, um, um, I'm ready to move and buy our first place. And I'm still in like the condo townhouse, you know, mood. Like we're not ready for a house. Like we don't need a house house. We just, you know, I want something that's just a little bit more city centric. You know, I would love a high rise, but we live in Sacramento and the 
those come at a, a pretty penny here. You know, California real estate will bankrupt that ass. So, um, and the bitches are unemployed. I am self-employed. Let me start saying that. I'm not unemployed. I'm self-employed. Broke. <laughs> but um, we're making it work, and um, I trust the process, and I can help myself. So, I, needless to say, you know, I mean, nonetheless, nonetheless, um, we are ready to, you know, buy our own. It's probably going to be an investment property. We'll probably live there somewhere between five and seven years, maybe. And um, we actually thought we were going to do this last year, but timing that market, you know, is fluctuating and it's, you know, on the descent. So we're just waiting for the right time um, to see if, you know, we thought we were going to move to Vegas, y'all. Like we actually thought because, you know, it's much more affordable. I mean, I don't want to leave California, but it's, it's much more affordable. And I'm about the spot, especially now since I'm vlogging, like I'm about finding the spot, like the place and that the location is in proximity and, um, you know, decent, not like fucking ghetto as hell, but it needs to be a decent location. And, um, we're going to try to make that work here. Um, I would love to stay in SAC. So it's where, I, it's where I'm from. It's what I know. It's what I love. It is what it is. So we're going to try to stay here. Our family's here. Um, but we will move. We will move if we can't find what we're looking for here. That's just a fact which is kind of an, a thrilling, like, exciting thing to think about because I've never been anywhere other than lived anywhere. In the first seven years of my life, I was born in Houston, Texas. Um, but I left when I was seven years old, and I remember very little. So I was pretty much, I was born and raised here, really. This is all I've known, so. Or raised here. So, um, yeah, I've seen a couple places here that I'm like that is absolutely fucking perfect but they're out of our price range so we shall see what happens we're thinking sometime between April and April and August I think is when it's gonna happen so um of 2023 so again great things in store for this year. I just got to get to this surgery. And I will tell you guys all about that shortly. So, but in the meantime, <laughs> Ooh, first, this is a leftover from what I had last night, so <coughs> I got to get some of that <coughs> ash burnt burnt off. Ooh. First smoke of the day. I have been choking like <coughs> choking like a motherfucker. So yeah, buddy. I was not finna miss my yoga. So and this is my last day. Oh, oh, I'm not gonna be able to work out. I ain't gonna be able to do shit. Nervous, nervous. Probably why I got a boo boo. I'm nervous. Ugh. There ain't never no fucking parking. Like I can't stand it over here. Oh, <laughs> blinker still broke. Like always, some shit. Um. Oh, I could have parked there, but I don't want to. So let me park right here. Yeah. All right. All right, Kingy Pennies. That sounds stupid. That sounds crazy. Kingy Pennies. King buns. All right, guys. Mm. It went out. Let me um. Let me finish smoking and get get this achieve this quick little high real quick before I go up in here. And um about two minutes to spare so two three minutes I'm gonna choke on this and watch one of my favorite bloggers all right so check back in with you guys later
but it's like rejuvenating at the same time like I feel amazing um but at the same time I'm just like ooh wee but it definitely gave me a charge which is what I needed positive thinking you know flexibility balance strength all that love the yoga but Yoga and boxing. It's, it's those two for me. Every time. So, I still got most of this blunt left. <laughs> Please believe me. Uh, let me get out of here. Okay. Um, yeah, coffee. That's what I'm doing. Anyway, okay, so let's talk. Story time. Story time with King Kenzie. This isn't going to be separate. It'll just be in the vlog. That's all I've done so far is vlog. But, you know, I've known this surgery was coming for, like, the last, since the beginning of 2022. So, it is almost just about, if not, a whole year. So, I, I've known this the surgery was was inevitable it's just you know by the time I found out it was too late I just kept trying to push it off and push it off um but now I can no longer so but then I'm treating this like a rebirth you feel me like I'm treating this like you know you know your your moment to be reinvented and anew to start again which you don't need an excuse for that but going through something like this makes you feel like you know it makes you very much aware of everything you take for granted and how much you could you know just how much you could be doing so much better so um and uh i have I haven't had a lust for life in a long time and I ever since I left you know my career and left that behind me in 2021 it started to come back gradually fear was holding me back big time because I was terrified but I knew what I didn't want to do anymore so you know um, now I'm just like there's so much I want to do and I'm now I'm impatient so we'll see you know I'm gonna put myself to the test and we'll see just how consistent and productive I can be and you know how far I can take myself you know so anyway so let's take it back to back um so I Starting from the beginning, I need some, the water in it. It's not wet, it's not moist. And I'm gonna need a moist mouth to get through all this talking, so. Mm. The sun came out, guys, yay. Yay. It's so pretty. Like, it's been storming in sack everywhere, but it's been storming 
really, really bad um, for like the last three weeks straight. Like, what did we do? But we needed it. Like, we needed the water, but of course, water causes floods and wreaks havoc, but we needed the water. So, it's so wonderful to see the sun out again. Anyway, distracted. Um, sleepy. I need sunglasses for this. This is a bowl. And I need my hands in. So, um, so I would say, okay, I got my period. Yeah, we're going there. <laughs> I got my period when I was 13. And, um, it was normal, of course. Um, and I got on birth control when I was 16. And, um, so I would say around the time, around the age of, I don't even know why I'm starting because I gotta order my Starbucks. Sorry, hold on. Quick interlude here. Hi, um, can I get a venti hot uh, quad shot sugar free vanilla latte with oat milk, please? Okay. Um, can I get it at 190 with no foam and no room, please? And that'll be all. I'll see you around the corner. Thank you. Okay, well, she just got my mind. All right, They usually get it right here, so I'm not, not worried. I changed up a little bit if you haven't noticed. Hi. Oh, please. Okay, I'm back. Um, I got my Starbucks. Um, I need to put on sunglasses because the sun is. <laughs> getting a little disrespectful, so. This is blind. Damn, why can't I get a red light when I want it? Shit. Alright. Still straight. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I started, got on birth control when I was 16. And, um, everything was until birth control obviously for birth control but then also um, as the years pass my periods just got they just got worse and by worse I mean heavier and um, the heaviness of the blood the amount of blood caused a lot of pain so you know clots and whatnot so um, the birth control helped with that for a long long time because it's giving you a hormone progesterone um, that slows down bleeding and it regulates your period so you damn near know the day and the motherfucking time when your period comes when you're on birth control so it regulates it slows it down um, but you know it, it puts hormones in your body and hormones do a variety of things um, for example estrogen which is the problem I ran into estrogen uh, feeds feeds fibroids so see that segue <laughs> I have fibroid tumors which is very common for um, black women I am mixed but say you know um, and so um, that and I recently found out not recently Okay, I'm jumping all over the place. Okay, so anyway, fuck. Um, periods were cold and they started to get heavy. They upped the dosage on my birth control. I was on birth control for 16 years, somewhere around there. And um, it kept, my periods kept getting worse and worse and they weren't, uh, while regulated for some time, they, they got worse and, and there was no, you know, stopping it. So when I went vegan in 
I would, you know, and I would tell my OBs this, like when I would go get my pap smears and stuff, I, I would tell them this, like, is there anything, you know, I'm just thinking, okay, I just got to pop pills and breathe, bitch, you know, there's nothing really I can do. Um, nobody ever tried to, you know, hey, let's get an ultrasound, you know, let's get an MRI, let's get something to see what's going on in there. It was just, you know, periods are periods and you're going to go through that and that's that. Um, and then, and then because the birth control worked well for me for so long, it's just that when it's, when it didn't, it was just like, what do I do? And, and, you know, none of the doctors really advised me on alternatives. Like I didn't know about ablations. I didn't know about embolisms. I didn't know about or embolizations or whatever they call it, but I didn't know about these other like alternative options that. I hadn't even been diagnosed with fibroids. Nobody had even bothered to fucking look. So, um, funny thing about it is, is that my, my mother and my grandma had the same issue, uh, on my mother's side, my wife's side. So that's kind of creepy, but you know, genetics. Anyway, so, um, I, I'm sure by now you've guessed the surgery is hysterectomy. I am losing my repro one of my reproductive organs. So no, I will not be bearing children. And it wasn't that I it was expecting to, you know, I'm, I might as well tell y'all my age. I know I be trying to hide it and shit, you know, <laughs> not hide it, but I'm just not trying to give it to you. I'm, I'm 38. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. So as much as I want to age backwards, I can't. So, um, I'm 38 and I, you know, I've been with my wife for almost 19 years, 18 years. Oh no, 18 years. Um, we've been together for a very long time and, um, while we thought about, you know, all types of stuff, you know, insemination, surrogacy, you know, we thought about all different types of, you know, ways in the beginning, cause that's what you do when you're in love and you know, whatever, but given the choice, you know, we've been on the same page throughout life, you know, neither one of us wanted kids, not like we couldn't see ourselves with kids in the future, just throughout life. I mean, she was 18 when we got together, I was 20. So, um, we saw, we thought having kids might be a possibility for either of us. She won't bear them. No, 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 no. She's not that stud. She's, she's not that, um, she ain't that stud. So she's not gonna, uh, she would not bear them, but her, you know, whoever she was with. So anyway, we both thought kids were in our future, possibly. But neither one of us really have the urge to bear a child. Like, I'm okay. I'm so much okay. And the thought of being a parent terrifies me, even though I think I'd be, you know, pretty decent. But it terrifies me. It terrifies me. So, oh shit. Oh shit. Let me go. Let me go. Thank you. Yay. I'm talking to y'all. I can't fucking pay attention. I almost missed. Oh my god. Okay. Steady cleaning his motherfucking glasses. Like I'm not sweating and like it don't even fucking matter. What is wrong with me? Yeah. Um. Anyway, so. Anyway, yeah, my, my mom had a hysterectomy, my grandma, same thing, I believe that's what she told me, but they, they had all the same issues, and, you know, this whole time, I've, I've had tumor, I have several, multiple, like, clusterfuck of tumors in my uterus, my uterus is stretched out to the max, it's very large, um, so that's been the cause of, you know, fibroid, you know, it's a really meaty, tumors are really meaty and, um, dense and they cause a lot of bleeding. So they may be uncomfortable if they're very large, which they've grown to that point. They are uncomfortable, but that what the pain is, is when I'm on my period, the bleeding is so heavy and that is what is so painful. And then, you know, I have these gas bouts because it's putting pressure on my like rectum. It's putting pressure on my other organs because the fibroids have grown so big and it's causing all these other health issues. Like I'm anemic now or have been for years. And, um, 
I have like, you know, sometimes staying regular because of the pressure, it creates these gas bouts and bouts of constipation. So all in all, it's gotta go. Like it's, it's gotta go, bye. So they gotta take my uterus and my fallopian tubes. Um, they don't need to take, they don't know yet whether or not they'll have to take my ovaries but as of, I mean the plan is to leave them the fuck alone I do not want my ovaries taken I am sending so much energy to that like leave my fucking ovaries alone so but also I think another reason why and like during my periods like the pain is so intense is I think I have another uterine disease which is um endometriosis or adenomyosis and um, I guess, you know, endometriosis is kind of, you know, it, it's along your entire abdomen. So it, the pain is kind of like all over versus, um, adenomyosis. I, I believe it's when you're, um, I may be wrong. I may be remembering all this wrong, but, uh, my pain is more localized. Like it's really severely like in my right side pelvic and it like shoots down my sears down my leg, my right leg. And, um, it's just very painful. Um, and that is more consistent. That kind of localized pain is more consistent with, or they say with adenomyosis, which I think is when your uterine lining collapses is what I meant to say. Like it, and then I have tumors so that can cause issues with that and it collapses into your like uterine wall or I don't fucking know it's a mess in there apparently and um now I have to have a hysterectomy so I'm hella nervous about it because I don't know for sure like they plan on going and they're doing the v-notes procedure where they go in and use this device to open you up and to get it out versus having to cut into me and well, oh my god, I need chapstick. Like, I am so dry. So dry, mouth dry, lip dry, like everything dry. Um, she's getting a hysterectomy. I have to be at the hospital at 7 a.m. in the morning. They took a week off to, you know, take care of me. Very grateful that I have her have someone because emotionally it's a lot. And for the first week, I'm not gonna be able to do much like walking is going to be a chore so Ugh. um anyway so the v-notes procedure is like the the most minimally evasive where they go in and do all that and if they do that and it's successful and they get it all out then i only have to stay in the hospital for a day versus if they cut into me um i'll have to stay for two to three days i believe probably three they just don't want me to hemorrhage because that's really the most the, the most risk is leading to them. So um, they're making sure my iron is up, and they're making sure that you know they know my blood type just in case I need a blood transfusion. Which my mom had like three of those, so fingers crossed. I don't have to endure that. Um, so anyway, but that's what I was saying. I'm most nervous about the fact that I don't know how it's going to go. She go, she's going in with the best intentions. I to, intentions and I totally trust this, um, doctor. She's been fucking amazing. Amazing. Um, so informative, so thoughtful, just, I, she's great. Um, and the other OB is the one that I initially was with. She's great too, but she's moving to SoCal. So she's going to assist on the surgery. And so she'll actually be there which is awesome as well. No, that car was like, bitch, move. I was like, where am I going? <laughs> anyway, so, um, so I won't know until, I gotta go in this parking garage because there's no parking anywhere. Like, that's annoying. Anyway, so, ow. oh, shit, there's parking. Oh, shit. Is that reserved? Patient and visitor parking. That's me. Can I park right here? Let me just go up. I'll just go up to the top. Anyway, I'm nervous about the fact that I'm not gonna know what what's um indefinitely going to happen. Like 
they can absolutely get it out this way nothing to worry about i'm gonna walk in there go to sleep wake up and my shit's gonna be gone and i'm not gonna have to cut into me that's i'm not assured that so they're going in with the intentions of doing the v notes procedure getting this thing out blowing my coochie hole all the way out pulling this shit out and just letting me heal you know let's hope that shit snaps the fuck back okay let's hope i mean women have babies i'll, I'll be all right it doesn't matter when i wake up from surgery it's gonna be me i'm like i told my wife i'm either gonna be crying out of disappointment and like anger or me crying up happiness because it's not until I wake up that I'm going to look and see what they did. Or um, If I see, you know, stitches or, you know, what, then I know that they had to cut into me because the tumors are very, very large. Um, which is another thing I actually am happy about because either way it's coming out. So, um... If I happen to have endometriosis and it's like riddled throughout, you know, my uterus and my ovaries, then that's when they'll have to take my ovaries and I'm just praying that's not the case. Because if they take my ovaries, it's going to fling me into menopause instantly. I've been in menopause for the last 90 days because I'm on hormones. It's chemically induced, but same shit okay them hot flashes are fucking real they've been driving me crazy i'm so ready for this to be over they take my ovaries i'm fucking doomed and your ovaries do more than you know the loss the absence of them does more than hot flashes and menopause it, it, it you know that process naturally degrades your bones it, it it's not sending um the hormones you need for various functions to your brain just just your hormones do a lot your your ovaries do a lot for you for women and um, I really hope that's not the case um, if it's adenomyosis then just taking out the uterus and the fallopian tubes and the tumors take cares, takes care of that anyway but I asked my OB the one that's going to perform the surgery I asked if she would take a picture because I want to see what's been ruining me my entire life like not entire but you know what I mean I want to see it I want to frame that bitch put a white background behind it and I'm gonna frame it because I want to see it they may have to like chop and screw it to get it out it won't be like whole probably because it's a lot um but however they get it out which I hope they get it out vaginally take a picture please um and I'm gonna hang that shit like motherfucking art please believe me <laughs> I will in my office so that's on the horizon and um, on the horizon bitch it's tomorrow um, surgery is at 915 I have to be there at 7 I have to take two showers tonight and in the morning with antibacterial soap nothing to eat or drink not even a sip of water uh, past midnight so I'm about to go home and fuck that gumbo up because it's the last thing I'm going to eat so, this is going to be great. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll be all right. I'm just, you know, kind of sad. Because I feel like had I gotten proper treatment years ago, ooh wee. Anyway, so it feels a little better. I feel like if I had gotten proper treatment years ago, then this wouldn't be this wouldn't be a thing. And if I wanted to, I could, you know, bear children you know, via age, if it allowed me, if I did in vitro, if I did whatever, if, if that were an option, um, or if Bay and I decided to go that route, you know, but now we don't. So it's just kind of like, it sounds stupid, but just like when men, you know, quiver at the thought of you 
snip snipping their balls you know with a vasectomy and it's a primitive feeling you feel like a failure you feel like your female parts failed you and you feel like even though it was caused you know fibroids it's diet it's um chemicals which is in everything it's like I knew hair relaxers, I knew the risk of cancer. They they put it on the fucking box. Like it may cause cancer, has chemicals that cause cancer. Now they know for a fact there's a direct link between hair relaxers and cancers. But I didn't know about the fibroid tumors. And apparently it causes those too. So uh there's that. But you know, that and hormones from birth control, like it it caused this. And um I just wish I was just more aware and more mindful, you know, but that, that was nowhere on my radar all those years ago. And especially in my early twenties, it was just like, Oh, my periods are just heavy, you know? And now my, that's, Oh, that's what I was saying earlier. I'm like super excited, super excited about this. Uh, Excuse me. Um, my belly, my lower belly has been protruded for years. And I just thought it was because I lost like 130 pounds. So I knew I was going to have some sagging and some dragging. Like I knew that. And, you know, I have it in my arms. I got it on my thighs, my, you know, fucking cottage sheets. Like I have, I have the remnants of someone who used to be obese. And at my, my heaviest, I was 280. So, and I'm only 5'7". So I was carrying a load and, um, dropping the weight. Like I should have did more weight. I've said this before. I should have did way more like weight work because maybe I'd be a little tighter, but I'm refocusing. I have been refocusing on that now, but it's a process and it's hard to, it's hard to tighten skin. It just is. There's all types of aesthetic procedures you can do to help, but you know, and I'm not doing surgery. I avoid, <laughs> After the rhinoplasties, like like I said, that'll be a story time for another time. But me and surgery are done, unless it is medically necessary. We are done. Our relationship is done. The rhinoplasty was the first and the last. Okay, it's if if, if skin tightening treatments, lasers, facials, all you know, topical shit can't can't uh, fix the issue. It's just not gonna get fixed. <laughs> I'm gonna get fixed and I'm okay with that. I am oh I am at a point where I don't give a fuck. Mm -mm. This is me. Get used to it. <laughs> um anyway. So my lower belly my lower belly has ooh, I blow my, nose. my lower belly has been protruding like it's super like you can see like my two little abs up top but my lower belly looks like you know I gave birth to some solid twins and that never happened so that's like extremely disrespectful so I'm dumbass excited about the surgery from that perspective because I'm all but assured like I am assured that my belly is going to recede my lower abdomen so taking that out and, you know, the organ, the uterus and the, t like, I just want it out of me. And I got a new waist trainer on deck. Ooh, I am so excited. That reminds me, I need to fucking order it. I got it on deck because now that I know there's nothing going on, like I can, I can, I can like grab my belly. I can like grab down here and I can feel, you, I can feel them. Like, get the shit out of me. Get the shit out of me. And I just thought, you know, a bitch was still fat. Like, it's probably going to make my stomach more saggy because now you don't have the bulge in the back from the tumors. And the bulge keeps it kind of full. Now, watch my lower belly is going to be like, it's going to be more saggy because now it's going to recede. And more of the skin is going to be more apparent, I guess. Wow. There goes the excitement. I don't have to burst my own fucking bubble. Like, fuck. I still don't care. I still don't care. Like, I don't care. 
at least it'll be flatter <laughs> and then I'll just like go ham on my abs and wear that waist trainer all the time I'm just so excited this is a rebirth for me I'm excited I'm scared I'm nervous I'm all of that shit I'm mad I'm disappointed pissed just fucking I'm all the emotions but I'm in good hands at the hospital and at home so I have nothing to complain about I'm alive and I'm breathing nonetheless I will complain okay it's my right as a human being in this world I'm gonna complain <laughs> anyway I'm just playing with y'all um I need to blow my nose proceed to like this shit and I need to blow my nose oh god well, I'm going to go in here. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I might actually, I might check in with you. I might check in with you guys in the morning, like when we're in route. You know, because I love vlogging in my car. Um, <clears throat> we'll probably be in Bay's car, but um, in the morning when we're on our way to the hospital, I might say what's up if I'm in the right headspace. But anyway, I'm going to take my ass inside and get this lab work done. And then I'm going to go home. And I'm going to what did I do eat <laughs> I'm gonna eat that gumbo again oh and I have to rid myself of all my hair okay cause she ain't doing that mm -mm. Mm -mm. I did my toes last night cleaned them bad boys up I'm about to just completely get rid of all this hair all of it I'm gonna be laid out on a table and you could just look at every part of me oh no she's gonna be bald <laughs> she's gonna be completely bald scaped ready to go okay this, if this is my last fucking hurrah in life I don't know what's gonna happen the only thing is is I can't oil up I gotta fucking shower with this dry ass antibacterial soap and like damn. I'm gonna be dry but I'm gonna be hairless <laughs> Where's it at? Oh, stupid. Eww. Anyway, so yeah. Story time's done. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to pick back up when I get back. I'm going to be ready to get to the house and eat. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Let me just say bye. Thank you guys. I love you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you that have hit that subscribe button and that fuck with me and that are rocking with me and keep watching. I'm going to keep at this. I know I'm a little miss inconsistent as fuck, but she's improving. And, um, thank you. Thank you for rocking with me so what are you doing like the distractions are real like people when you just sit back and like and I'm high but when you just sit back and just watch it is hilarious what do I be looking like from afar like I know I probably look crazy because I be talking to myself I be talking to myself ooh um she in her own little world that is hilarious anyway yeah so um i don't know when i'm gonna see y'all but i will see y'all when i see y'all bye bye king pens <laughs>
I said yesterday that I probably wasn't going to check back in with you guys, but here I am. So we're on our way to the hospital. Um, I'm supposed to check in at seven, but I'm showing up early because yesterday throughout that rigmarole, I went to the wrong lab. So that was my bad. I have to get poked again and get to draw blood and whatnot. So on our way there and yeah, super nervous, but ready. Um, they still have to sleep. Hospital's really close to where I live, so getting there will be quick. And I have heartburn because I ate all the way up to like 11 p.m. Because <laughs> I knew I couldn't have anything. So yeah, that gumbo is all in my throat. But I made sure I didn't have anything past midnight, so I should be alright. I just hope I don't wake up and throw up everywhere. So, yeah, we're just about there, and um, I will see y'all on the other side. Bye, Kingpin. Say bye, Kingpin. Bye, guys. What up, Kingpins? Mm. I'm on the other side. And it's been a doozy. It is 8, 10 a.m. My surgery was like something like six or seven hours. Oh, my throat is killing me. You know that tube they stick down there? It's got me all fucked up in the throat. Um... You could probably barely hear me because it is really hard to speak. This is oxygen, so speaking is difficult right now. Um, ooh, I look a mess. Ooh, ooh. I look a mess for sure. Jeez. It's a really foggy day. But at least I have windows. That's, that's a good thing. And they just brought me breakfast. It's chicken broth, jello, Italian ice, and tea. Because as my board says, I'm on a clear liquid diet. Ain't that fun, but not. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, surgery was about six or seven hours. I was there for quite some time. And I felt it when I woke up. Um, but they managed to get it all out. The dry mouth is real, so excuse me. They managed to get it all out. And um, piece by piece. So I'm just lying here naked. About to eat breakfast. Um, supposedly, I was told that <clears throat> while the surgery went well, they thought that they were going to have to cut into me to get it out because, um, as anticipated, the, the masses were quite large. And um, um, upon entering me, I guess they didn't have much hope that they were going to get it out vaginally, but my OB, she is the best, and um, she did it. She stood there for seven hours and got it out uh, piece by piece. They had to, you know, chop and screw it just to get it all out. And they took my uterus, they took my fallopian tubes. Um, 
but that is it. They did not have to touch my ovaries. I'm so happy about that. So happy about that. Um, and they, they completed the V-notes procedure, so my recovery should be uh, easier and quicker than a regular, you know, laparoscopic or incision surgery. <sighs> it's really hard to talk. Um, I'm not sure if anything I'm saying is translating because I sound like shit. But I just wanted to let you guys know I'm good. She is out. <laughs> no more periods. No more pain. No more lower belly bulge. No more bloating. No more anything. Just now all I got to do is get to my 50s and, and get through menopause, you know. <laughs> but since I've been in a chemically induced state of menopause for the last three almost four months I at least know what to expect and that that wasn't the hard part this is the hard part let me tell you it was incredibly difficult in like I can't help but look this way but y'all right there shit I, I can't even do it here um anyway so um when I woke up like I could not move like my legs they hurt so bad they were cramped so bad because I mean they had them up in stirrups for hours so I think my I had a muscle spasm or a charlie horse or something and it got stuck there so trying to walk was seemed impossible but they got me around a full looper on the hospital and um She's real swollen down there, but um, I can already see how much my my tummy has receded now that everything's gone. It's like night and day. And right now, all I'm trying to do is fart <laughs> because I have air traveling through me and a catheter in, so it would take the pee out, but like my body's not bowel movements it's just that's why they have me on a liquid diet because they want me to you know pass but um because i'm on you know the medication and whatnot um yeah they had me hooked up to some fluids and let's see to some fluids because i lost a lot of blood Oh, and I found out my blood type. I'm A positive. I never knew that, so that's that's good to know. <laughs> but I'm A positive, and they're just replenishing the iron and all that stuff. Um, but this right here, this right here, right here, this right here, this is the button, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with this button does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. To the rescue. It's a morphine drip and that's just nice. I'm probably gonna pass out because every time I hit it, ooh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. But I have to get this on my stomach. These liquids. So appetizing. Oh God, I look crazy. But I'm comfortable. I'm taken care of. My nurses have been great. I had like a little dream team. The morning crew has come in. They're just as good. I'm at Mercy San Juan Hospital in Sacramento. Um, oh, it's just so tired, so sleepy. That's all I've been doing. Sleeping, moving, turning, sleeping, moving, turning, sleep. Mm. I always feel like somebody's coming in. Every time I fall asleep, bam, somebody's coming in. They need blood. They need vital checks. They need something. Um, yeah, I've been poked a billion times. See, I think I was like 
poked at least seven times. And then my IV's over here. Put my whole government name on it, like, come on. So, I made it through, guys. I'm just happy about that. I'm happy that I'm on the other fucking side. I'm just so, I was done with this happening for years, and... I have no desire to bear children. It just had to go. It had to go. And I, I couldn't wait for menopause because when you go through menopause, your fibroids disappear. Um, but I have a long way before that, that happens. Several, several years. So um, I couldn't wait anymore. It was just way too painful and causing too many issues. From here on out, I'll no longer be anemic, which is great because that caused a lot of problems too um but most of all just no more pain and no more periods mm. i'm gonna have to take this out to eat because that thing is gonna just start fucking beeping here we go it's gonna go all the way off watch my mouth is so dry. Oh my god. Anyway. I'm here. I'm on the other side and I'm good. So I just wanted to holler at y'all real quick and say hey I made it. And I love you guys. I love your support. I'm going to continue with this thing. Uterus free. Anyway, somebody's gonna come in. Here. Somebody's definitely coming in here because it's beeping. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I might as well leave you with what I say, but I need some water first. Like, the fuck? hold on, hold please. Um, I'm probably not gonna be up for filming when I leave here. I'm just gonna wanna, you know, go to sleep. That's all I can do, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I never thought I, I never thought I'd be going through this. I never thought that eventually at the tender age of 38 <laughs> that I'd be getting a hysterectomy. I just didn't anticipate it. But who does when things go left medically? Like, it's just kind of like mind boggling to me that I'm, that I just had this procedure done. Like, it's just, I don't know, things you just never think of and then they happen and they kind of like scare you a little bit and they make you feel very mortal. And that feeling of mortality just ensues. It reminds you that our time here is temporary. And the pain does a great job of reminding you of that. And um, anything can happen. So I'm just happy I'm on the other side of it. And it's only, it's only uh, downhill from here in terms of healing. And then I'll be up and back at it in the gym doing my thing before you know, with a flat tummy, okay? I am so fucking thrilled about that. Let me tell you. I'll get some footage of that so you can see the difference because that tummy, though, disrespectful. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. I'm going to leave you with what I say if I can get it out because the cotton mouth of it all <clears throat> and it really hurts it really hurts to cough or anything anything um what do i be saying to y'all <laughs> be uniquely you because that is what makes you one of a kind live in your truth i'm living in mine this is my truth Jello. 
um, living your truth. I already said that. Oh, God, I can't keep the thought to save my life. Be uniquely you, living your truth. Talk your shit. And be a kind human being. <laughs> that's it, that's all. I'm so sleepy. <sighs> um, signing off, guys. Your energy, your love, and support is getting me where I need to go. So, time to eat or drink my food. My kingpins. Oh, my kingpins. Yes, my kingpins. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you when I get home. Maybe.